The armored head crab seems to have accumulated a kind of metallic, bulletproof growth on its back. It seems that this growth may come from the Zen flora, or mold that can be seen throughout the quarantine zone, which is likely why Gordon Freeman never encountered them in Half-Life 2. These growths can be seen in Half-Life Alex when traversing around the environment. Now, while this development seems to benefit the head crab, in truth, it may be more of a parasitic relationship. You see, I, and the Half-Life Encyclopedia, believe that this growth serves as a parasite that takes advantage of the head crab's natural behavior. It likely catches and bonds onto a head crab by falling on top of it from a roof of some kind. Then the head crab will continue to do its thing while slightly impaired but also bulletproof, and when it finds hosts as usual, said host may become a catalyst for the spreading of this zen fungus of sorts. In a way, it's similar to cordyceps, the real-life version I mean, which hijacks ants and turns them into spore-making machines in order to spread itself further. This zenian fungus runs deep into the head crab as well, so deep that its underbelly contains an exposed organ, likely being used by the fungus in some way. The armored head crab on the surface seems like a buffed up head crab, however it is truly a case of a parasitic organism getting a taste of their own medicine.